you had to drive me home? Boy, was that a long story. <laughs> yeah. I've just shit myself. Yep. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Help! Got it. I'm fine. Yeah. Let's keep it. No. Oh, really? Because I was going to unplug it. No, just because. Because <sighs> I say, make a constant noise so I can work out which one's yours. Mm. And you go. <laughs> And I'm like turning them on. You're like, that's the one. And I was like, oh, I turned down. You went, that's good. And I, I was moving up when you said that's good. And I was like, is that good? Ah! <laughs> I was like, what is happening right now? Let's just try and stay on this thought that we're having right now and work our way through it. <clears throat> I need to turn mine up. I could turn mine down there. Which one am I? Am I this? No, am I this one? There we go. Two, two, two. Testicles, testicles. I'm going to rip off my testicles and feed them <laughs> to myself. I'm going to rip off my testicles. Excuse me, everybody. Welcome to Mentally Illegal. Welcome. Please, we haven't set up any of the lights, so this is going to be like a real... It's, it's going to look like real gorilla filming. I don't know. I'll make it look pretty. But what if does gorilla filming mean? Like gorilla filming, like when you're like... <laughs> that was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even like that. I didn't no. like you just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Tell us what's going on, It's though. like when you are uh, when you when you're filming but you uh, you're um like undercover filming. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. if someone if people are making a movie and they need a scene to be they set at up a music festival. In, in like Oops, cuz I was room. talking, right? <laughs> so if you're um if you're at a it's because I, I was you said what's gorilla filming now t don't get me wrong like because uh, I might be wrong but let me jump back a little bit you said what's gorilla filming right and then I tried to explain it to you and then you started talking over the top of me which is fine which is fine it's totally fine but the problem with that is then I can't tell you the thing that did you did Jordy word you up before we started <laughs> um so gorilla filming <laughs> is. Uh, whatever. Who cares? You don't even care. You can. You're just asking. You're just, just saying stuff. Yeah. Sometimes you just go. It's blah blah blah, and I start talking, and you don't even care what I'm saying. Did you know that both towers fell? Yeah. Isn't that one? <laughs> crazy. You're so dumb. <laughs> On stream today, everybody. <laughs> she messages me and she goes. You have to. Sorry. Sorry. See, Matt was talking there, and then I was going to interrupt. So you can interrupt, but you didn't ask me a question. You know, you didn't go, hey, what's this? And I go, well, and you go, oh, it's actually, there's one thing. See where that, see the difference there? What happened? Uh, you have to tell them that it's like a genuine shock. I was not doing a bit. No, no, of course not. I, I, that's, I, that's not what came across at all. No, you were really like, you were really. I was trying to inform you in case you might not have known. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. For the yeah, information. <laughs> she messaged me. She, she said, I'll tell you. I'll, you know, fuck it. I'll tell you exactly what it said. Oh my God. <clears throat> I'd gone down a deep, dark hole on YouTube. Yeah, it's certainly a dark hole. <clears throat> I'm going to start bringing it Because I was looking at found footage of tornadoes. Yeah. Yeah, that was also another, like, dumb conversation. <laughs> you said, um, this is so random, so, so random, but this shows the lack of research I did on this event. I didn't know the Twin Towers actually fell down, capital letters, after the planes hit them. And I was like, you are so fucking... It's not like... <laughs> I'm, na I'm naive and no, I live in a bubble. <laughs> no, it's not naivety, it's laziness. <laughs> it's, it's, that's not like... That's, you would have to go out of your way to not take that information in. I haven't taken any information in. But you don't need to. You, that's just something you know. I don't know. Yeah, but every and I really and I I don't mean this with any exaggeration. Where's my camera? I don't mean this with the, <laughs> without any exaggeration. Is that my camera? Is that my lens there? <clears throat> um, everybody knows that. Yeah. That's like if you said, "Did you know Jesus Christ was Jewish?" I guess no. I, I here's the thing: there would be more people who didn't know that Jesus was a Jew, bef <laughs> than people who didn't know that towers fell. I knew they got crashed into yeah, i didn't yeah. know they dropped 
So you thought they just went, ah, fuck. That's no good. Tear it down. I didn't know they... You just you didn't know there were no Twin Towers anymore. Mm-hmm. So what about when you see like an image of New York and there's n- those two towers are no longer there? That you didn't, you didn't think I didn't about know it. what it looked like when they were there. Like two big fucking towers that are no longer there. Yeah, but I don't... I don't naturally look up photos of New York no, and go, like, yeah, I something's so. missing I guess so. here. No, you're right, you're right. I would never, if like Chrysler building was just taken out of... Yeah, I'd be like, okay. I wouldn't know. No. Is Chrysler New York? <laughs> God, I was like... Dude, um, I didn't know the towers fell. You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> there is like, there's people who say one of the most surreal things, like obviously all of it's probably surreal, but they said was like, just like the next day, like looking along the landscape and just not seeing... Like two things you see your entire life that are there, and now they're just gone in an instant. Can I? Can I tell you like? I'm gonna start bringing back oops. By the way, when you interrupt me, I'm gonna start saying oops. Because I uh, here's the thing: the joke is I'm gonna sound like an asshole at the start of the podcast because I meant to go oops and do a bit out of it, but I went straight to oops. Right? <laughs> like I'd already had an oops ready, so I was like, oops, okay. So um, and then keep talking, and that's not as funny as oops. Keep going. Okay, I'm going to wait for the for you to say... Oh, no, going. you didn't interrupt me then. I interrupted you to tell you I'm going to start saying oops. <laughs> <clears throat> I wanted to say, like, the uh, I, like my genuine thought process of when I did see it fall. Oh, wowza. Okay. Because I obviously Tread wasn't lightly. ready. I wasn't ready for it. Tread lightly. I was like, okay, I should not make any more jokes about this event anymore. Almost, yeah. That's when you were like, you said, you said on the stream. I was like, that's really upsetting. Now let me like be honest with me because this sounded like bullshit when you said it, uh-huh. and I was like, this is bullshit, and I need you because if you don't say it's bullshit, I'm gonna have to say that you're lying. You said, I- I- I've just never been brave enough to research it, which has to be bullshit because you're making jokes about it. You can't then be like, I just wasn't, I wasn't I ready. Wasn't, no, I just didn't. You were just needed to like cover up. Yep. Real quick. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Knowing that all your fan base are Americans. I like that you're back in 2001 now because we're all ahead of it. And you don't make jokes because it's funny. You make jokes because it, it, it's a shocking event. And that's how people deal with trauma and then mm-hmm. eventually becomes the joke itself becomes the joke. And then yep. that's how jokes, blah, blah. Everyone, you guys know how humor works. Um, 9 11, not funny. <laughs> Pearl Harmer. Pearl Harmer. <clears throat> Take two. <laughs> 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 we haven't recovered from G Stream yet. I don't feel like I really don't feel like I have. Not at all. I feel I've not been myself. D- yeah. Since. Yeah. I I don't I don't know who I am. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm still. I can't get my sleep back. No. I can't get. I can't get back to feeling like I've had a good night's sleep. I don't even want to cook anymore. What? Yeah. That's how tired. I need you to take your glasses off. I can't talk to you if I can't look into your soul. There we go. I need to. I can't not look into the windows to yourself. I'm staring it's into. Because I got no makeup on. Is that why you got the glass? No one cares. Take the glasses off. All right. It'll look better now because you won't be like a glowing clown like I always make you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so mean. I, well, it's not you. It's because I pump up the saturation because I like my blush. I like the look. Uh, I like the that that like cheesy early two thousands high saturation look. <laughs> mm-hmm. And, but when I high saturate our footage, you end up looking like a clown. A clown, yeah. Because I make your blush Just so much Whoa. more blushy. Yeah. He messaged me and he goes... I'm sorry. <laughs> Next time we do the pod, can you lay off some of that blush? <laughs> Actually, I didn't say it like that. You're like... Oh, no, you sent me an, a voicemail. You're like, I'm pretty I sure I was mean, like, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm like, I don't mean to be rude, but... um, <laughs> That's not what you I fucking... <laughs> I was uh, just, yeah, I was just like, hey, don't wear so much blush because I'm making you look silly. Can you also just keep talking about how dumb I am? Yeah, it was pretty, that is pretty dumb. That's pre- I d- have I Have I done anything else that's made you like <clears throat> consider our friendship? Well, that thing you said about like, oh, like in, in 10,000 or uh, uh, in 10, 10 billion years. Then people are going to come see our people. When our galaxies clash, that we'll be able to like basically just like reach up and shake hands. Like, like our two worlds will be like, like there'll be earth that we're standing on here and then we look up. And two stories up is another Earth above us. That's that was I that because I know that's exactly what you're picturing in your head. No, I thought they were going to come in their UFOs and come visit us, and we were going to go in our little UFOs and visit them, stay for a few months, and come back. But we, all, why would we be any closer to doing that if their galaxy was closer to us? Because we can get there while we're still alive. Yeah, but there's. I don't even know where to start with. 
<laughs> like, there's so many things to talk about in like why that is already the stupidest thing you've ever said. But I don't. I can't even be bothered. It wasn't my idea. What? That then peoples are going to come see our peoples. What was it? I just read it somewhere. You did not read it because they don't why know. Why would that I say it? Because you're a dumb person who thought the Twin Towers were still up. I didn't think... <laughs> so you're telling me there's an article... I didn't article think about at, the Twin Towers at all until no, I no, saw... No, 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 hold on. But the article, you're, you're referring... You're saying... You're saying that there was... Yeah, there was someone that said that the, the, the galaxies would come close together. That's a fact. That's true. Yeah. That the Milky Way galaxy is going to clash with the mm-hmm. Andromeda mm-hmm. galaxy or whatever fucking thing. But it was the, then you went the next step forward and went, oh, the people there can come see the people here. That's where stupid starts. Okay. Like you going, oh, the planes hit the tower. We're on the same page. Mm-hmm. And they went up and they put new windows in. That's when <laughs> that's when it becomes dumb. Yeah, but they hit it so far up, I didn't know why it had to fall down. Wow, that's crazy. That's funny you mentioned that, Sienna. Mm. That's my conspiracy theory. There's lots of theories about like if you Oh have, have you I never see. heard the cons- have you never heard the meme conspiracy thing that jet fuel can't melt steel beams? No. Okay. Well there's like that because the they yes, it hit the top of the towers. Plane goes Gadoosh, one tower. People go, oh my fucking God, that's crazy. That's wild. Oh my God, let's go. Let's evacuate. Let's get the people out of the tower. Let's send fire people. Like that's already like a crazy thing. A, ta- a plane has smashed into a tower, a high rise in a city. What was it? Is it a terrorist attack? Was it someone being negligent? Or what the fuck happened? And then what is it? Like t- like 20 minutes later. Not even that. I feel like it was like seven. No, that feels like too short. Nobody take what I'm saying as fact. But some <laughs> sometime later, like... Is that plane low as well? Oh my fucking Christ. Second plane hits the other tower. Okay. That's when shit goes. You're like, there's something fucking going on. And that's, at that point, I would be like, let's get in the car and let's and drive keep far driving. away. Because yep. you, once once the first plane hits as well, once the second plane hits, we're being targeted. Yeah. It's like missiles coming down again. Yep. Like, where's yep. the next plane going to be? What's going on? That would be fucking crazy. And then I believe tower one fall. First tower that got hit. And then I think some time passes, and then the second one goes. I don't think they went at the same time. I think there was time between them. No, because I was watching a, a news thing from a helicopter, and she was like crying watching the tower go down. And she's like, I have friends that are yeah. there today. Yeah. And I was like, that's made my day suck. A well, don't lot. worry. Don't worry about it, because we didn't overreact afterwards and just decimate mountains and mountains and mountains of Arabs. Which is what we did. Oh. The the counter attack was not even. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I like that. This is all information you're learning now. That's not good. There is a there is a um. We don't fight fire with fire. That's there, naughty. We also the implication that they're all the fire is what. There's a there's a guy I listened to who did a TED talk, and I'm gonna misquote him. <laughs> um, because <laughs> I, 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 I there was ear dumb. It was a long long time ago I read it, but he said. That. And by the way, I think this is bullshit because this is a very surreal thought to have. Mm-hmm. I think it was like, like, um, uh, I was, at the, I was just about to go to a second thought. There's some famous author who, um, who came, who's, who's well known for walking into a, everyone's going to be yelling at me because they'll know, you have no idea who it is, <laughs> but he like, I uh, truly, I'll look down at Murphy. I forgot what you said. He was walking onto a, a, like a boat to go overseas somewhere. And they're like, do you have anything to declare? And he's like, nothing but my brilliance or nothing but my intelligence or something oh, like that. Dear, That's yep. meant to be like a famous quote of his. Okay. And I think this is like that where this person said this thing. I'm like, you didn't actually think that you're just saying that post to make a sound cool. But he said when the, uh, like when the towers hit mm. and when like they learnt that it was a terrorist attack mm. performed by uh, orchestrated by Osama bin Laden they he's, he was like I, I thought then thousands and thousands of Arabs are going to die because of this which is the quote not in a mean way so he wasn't like thousands of Arabs yeah, are going to yeah, die yeah. It's he like, was saying this is my we, are going, we are going to overreact to this okay and we are going to, across the ocean, kill thousands and thousands mm. of Ar- Arabic people. Now, I'm not saying the first thing was good, because boy, howdy, was I upset during my work day today. <laughs> but uh, maybe don't be like, well, we're going to be even worse than the, the worst people. Well, and that's this is where some of the conspiracy theories come in. It's like, was this really a terrorist attack? Was this orchestrated so that we had a reason to enter these countries and steal their oil and was and then there's the other thing like that's we're stealing what like that's a whole other thing that we want to go to the middle east 
It's a for oil. I want you to know that all the lady with the maths thing in front of her face. I know, but here's the thing. This is me. This is the blind leading the blind because you know nothing. Donuts. And I'm a dumb person. Zero. So I'm explaining. I'm educated by nothing but the Teletubbies and five seconds of summer. Here's how bad it is. I don't even know if I'm allowed to say Arabs. I'm only saying that because I heard someone say it in a TED talk. But as it comes out of my mouth, I'm like, Arab sounds like a slur, not like a way to refer to um, people who are in that region. But just so everyone knows, I'm is not saying Arabian? it as... Arabian? Yeah, but I don't know if they are Arabian. Like is 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 Arabian like um like Westerner like it's a broad term for a particular the Middle East Middle Easterners let's say that that sounds way less offensive, but um yeah so uh there's a, there's you know we wanted oil there's lots of oil in the Middle East okay how do we get into there let's oil orchestrate for terrorist attacks so we have a reason to go there yeah again that conversation I was like yeah, I have no yeah, idea yeah what I oil know is. what oil is <laughs> <laughs> um anyways so. <laughs> Then there's theories about like like the f- way that the tum- the towers crumble doesn't like f- for obviously it's like any conspiracy theory it's real easy to say tower hits the top crumbles from the bottom how does that make sense I don't know mm-hmm. it probably does make sense there probably is some like like physics thing about mm-hmm. the way that a tower fo- that that doesn't also putting an airplane up there would probably make it a little heavy Tr- true yeah yeah fuck the whole um, structure weight, weight distribution Yeah so obviously this pro- it, pr- it probably makes sense It's just very easy to say Plane hit top Tower fall from bottom How? Bush did it um, Oh dear So that's like That's one of the conspiracies But there's multiple conspiracy theories Can you imagine like, that Someone standing there With a bloody stick of dynamite On the buzzer And the president's in his ear Going Hold on Six Hold on Five Not well, yet We got it Because we need to get at least 200 people out of the building. We only want to kill about 45... Like, 45,000 like people. Yeah, it's not yep. that many. <laughs> um, yeah. And also there's like, you know, like how the hell does... Um, without help, how the hell does Osama Bin Laden orchestrate one of the greatest terrorist attacks of all time from inside a cave without internet? Like it's like... there's a, There's all this stuff that's put in place to make a conspiracy theory really legitimate, but that's how conspiracy theories work. They wouldn't be popular mm-hmm. if... You know, they you know, like the moon landing. Like, there's a lot of stuff that says like, here's reasons why we would fake a moon landing, and yep. even you know, but and then here's a bunch of reasons why JFK was JFK was probably assassinated by the CIA and not by, um, uh, Lee Harvey Oswald. You taught me that the he that he was killed by the CIA. That's uh, that's not I'm um, um, that's not longer a conspiracy theory to me. That is fact. He was killed by the CIA. There's that, that's one that I can't like let go of. And I always sound like a crazy person, but like, just look into it and you'd be like, oh, of course the CIA killed the, the, the president who wanted to abolish the CIA. Of course they fucking did that. Of course the the Lee Harvey Oswald who had ties, heavy ties with the CIA uh, killed him. Of course the, he couldn't get a fucking three shots with a bolt action sniper rifle of course there were multiple sh- shots heard from different that directions like the the dim- magic bullet the magic okay. bullet that that cannot be explained for how it hit multiple points of the car and they said oh it bounced off this and must have gone there it's it, it's called the magic bullet because it makes no sense in, that it went through his physics. head and then lodged in someone's arm or whatever fucking bullshit i can't talk about it right now because i'm not good at retaining information it's just in there mm-hmm. i remember as the information was being fed to me in a documentary i went that checks out. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at retaining information and then blurting it out to yeah, yep, people. Yep, yep. That's where my weaknesses lie, which is why I can't remember the name. telling a story. <laughs> what? And me telling a story. You're like, every time you open your mouth, I've got to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you taught me that people went to the moon 16 times after the first one. Did, uh, was it didn't 16? know that? I don't know. It's more than one. It was. It was. It was. The, like, well, that's recorded. Like... Of course, that could be a lie. Everything could be a lie, so I never know what's true and what's not. I just know don't trust the government. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mentally illegal. How much of that can we keep? Like, well, was... you're just educating me, and I did. I was. You have to say a spade's a spade. I didn't say anything offensive. Are you no, proud no, we of didn't. Me? You didn't say a goddamn offensive thing. I was. I'm only concerned about saying Arabs, but I think. I think it's like Jews. Like it's only offensive if you put a bit of stank on it. Yeah, we have to unfortunately group those particular people by a name because that's who they decimated afterwards apparently just, just fucking 
And then Obama comes through and just bomb, carpet bombs weddings. <laughs> like, we are so awkward. The, the treatment of the middle. Anyways, let's talk about something funny. You got any notes? <laughs> you got so any we, notes? we did G-Stream <laughs> and we raised $5,000 for the children's, children's hospitals. hospitals. <laughs> We're good people, we swear. We're good Would you people. say one podcast where bleeding heart liberals that... That's uh, it, yeah. It's And that's sort of where I stand. I say oops if I interrupt you. <laughs> My brain's not awake today. So we, we did a 24-hour stream last podcast where we talked about the dog shit room. <laughs> <laughs> that what was a, a good great bit. story. That, that, that podcast hasn't got many views on YouTube and it's a rotten shame because yeah. Ben tells a great story about doing a removalist job and uh, finding a room that's called by the occupant the dog shit room. It's the last podcast everybody go listen to it. It's, it's really good. Um, but well, but before we so the, by the way, we're sorry there was a podcast. There wasn't a podcast last week. We're just recovering. We're absolutely. How right. could there physically be a podcast? Like, what did we have? We spent Matt and I spent twenty four hours together mm. it, sitting on this couch that I'm on now. Mm. We didn't have anything more to say to each other. We were done. Although, was it the day after or the day of when we woke up late at night? You messaged me. Yeah, no, it was the same day that G Stream finished, and both. Matt and I had a nap, woke up. Matt messaged me like nine o'clock. He's like, can you come back while I pack up? Can you just come sit here while I pack up the... I don't think I said that. I don't think I was like, can you come sit here? I can't deny it because I don't even remember. Then you said, can you come hang out? And then when I walked in, you just took my hand. Are you sure like, you didn't say, can I come hang out? I was so surprised because you were the one that sent the message oh, first. Damn it. Oh, I'll find it and text it I'm so it to goddamn you. lame. No, <coughs> no barking. Yeah. Yeah. Leave her. Um, yeah, now you're like, now I'm codependent with you because I've spent 24 hours with you. Yeah. But in that 24 hours... That wore off quick. <laughs> yeah, it did. Yeah. Um, I've collected um, some G-matisms mm. that I want to present to you. And if you just want to give us a... What does just, that mean? I've just got some sayings that only I've heard from your mouth. Oh, that from the stream? Just from you being GMAT, the r- the real. Well, there is no other. There is only I, the real GMAT. And if if you be if you be so kind, I'd like to present them to you. I'm always kind. Lay it on me. <clears throat> the first one is you're woke. <sighs> you're woke. I stole from a comedian. I don't know who it is. I heard it on a podcast once. They said you're woke, and now I. What's wrong? Oh, sorry. I didn't even realize that was you. <laughs> Matt tells me off all the time for putting my tooties on him, and he just rested his whole foot <laughs> I on my knee. The, I thought it was the edge of the, the couch. Thing. Um, I can't. I can't remember who it was. I, that's, that's stolen. Uh, this whole list is going to be. What's that? I'll be like, that's stolen. I took it from blah blah blah. Good. Because because I'm like anyone. I retain stuff that I hear funny, that's yeah. funny, and then I say it out loud. You're like a uh, Jimmy Fallon's a moon face alcoholic. That's from Shane Gillis. Yeah. Fat pussy. I didn't steal from anybody. For, ja- uh, for James, James Corden. Corden. It's a fat pussy. Free cunch. I don't think I stole from... You're welcome, free cunch comes you're one after f- the other. Yeah, because they're from the same person in the same clip. Okay. Well, I remember you're welcome. You're welcome. It's a free cunch. Comes from... I don't know who it is, but I... St- I got, it's, pr- it's probably a podcaster, mm-hmm. not a comedian. But um, yeah, just some point I, I, I heard it somewhere. I thought that's hilarious and I just became part of my repertoire, part of my life. The next one is Uber Abek, which we know from... Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil. We'll be right back. Can we normalise chopping my own cock off? <sighs> there's, oh, a Norm McDonald, sorry, Murph. there's a Norm McDonald joke that goes, um, uh, uh, it's, an, it's a news report. It's like a, 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 a student at Columbia University mm-hmm. was rushed to hospital because uh, he took acid and um, chopped his own, severed his own penis off <laughs> in like the... Uh, the the Columbia University quad mm-hmm. or something like that. And he said, these college kids these days, we didn't need drugs to have fun back in my day. We just chop our own cocks off. That's, That's the good. joke, which is a good bit. Like he took That's acid, chopped bit. his cock off. We don't need acid. We just chopped our own cocks off. And so then at some point I just, I, I like on, on stream at one point I was like. I, I, it was I, the Lara, Lara yeah. Croft video. Oh no, I didn't. I, maybe chop at your own cock off is like a phrase that, got in my brain but I'm, I, every time I got mad I was like I want to chop my own cock off Yeah. so I don't know if I directly took it from the norm joke or it just became I think the phrase chop my own cock off and then I just said uh, I want to chop my own cock off so much that I went can we just normalise chopping our own cocks <laughs> off because I've everyone on fucking Instagram and, and, and 
all the time people go, we need to normalize oh, da, 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 yeah, and yeah, put, yeah. insert something. <laughs> and I'm like, how about we don't normalize everything and you yeah. feel like just a pinch of shame for something. Yeah. <laughs> just, just an just ounce. A, just a sprinkling of shame. Just hang your head for at least 30 seconds we and need, move on. We need to normalize uh, crying at the supermarket. I'm like, no, we don't. No, we don't. You need to, we need to normalize having Therapy. some control of your emotions. <laughs> Therapy, yes. Um, you win some, you dim some. Ben said that once. I liked it a lot. I took it. Yep. Uh, doys and dirls. Um, uh, there's a Auntie Donna sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I've stolen everything. <laughs> there's an Auntie Donna sketch sketch where um, uh, Broden Kelly's dressed up as a cowboy. <laughs> yep. And he goes, "I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy." And he yeah. said it once in one video, and I was like, "That's funny." Yeah. And then this is years ago on the stream. I started going. I started saying. I was like, I'm a cat doy. And then I started referring to people as doys. Doys, yeah. And then at doys and doys. Doys and doys, and you got merch. Then I made shirts out of it. Don't ever tell Auntie Donna that. Oh, don't worry, I won't. Doys and doys. Um, a plate of yellow. I probably should. Um, everyone, the lighting in this episode is going to be real fucked because we got the windows open because it's too depressing today to have the windows closed. So Sienna might look like a ghost from time to time. It's not anything out of the ordinary. <laughs> Ooh, what was the question? I didn't say anything. Maybe. What? Oh, the next one was a plate of yellow. Oh, um, I think that's something Beck made up at one point. About like... Because that's how you explained it to me. You're like, I make Beck a plate of yellow. Yeah. No, maybe that was me. I think I like... Because she, she like just ate dog shit all the time. <laughs> it was like... Two-year-old party food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so <Yeah>. diet. <laughs> just his party food. I always end up <laughs> <laughs> in my life. I just always every girlfriend I've ever had just <laughs> has. The oh my god! Do I just date autistic women? <laughs> yeah, I think so. <laughs> every girlfriend and you befriend them too. <laughs> yeah, I'm just surrounded by autistic women. Just um, I just I just because I like to cook. You know, mm-hmm, you've seen mm-hmm. the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I've, I used to put stuff on Instagram as a cook, but just that's it. Just I was only I was never ever cooking for um. Uh, anyone, I would like make these like really, really nice meals and I'd, you know, put them in front of uh, Beck or whoever I was dating. Ew! No, they wouldn't go, ew, they'd just like pick the bits out yeah, and go, yeah, and yeah. I was like, like what am I doing this for? Oh, that's, that's the best bit. And they'd be like, you hungry? I was like, I'll make you something you and say? just put some fucking party pies and sausage rolls and yep. chicken tenders and fairy bread, s- whatever in the, in the, in the oven. And it just looks, it's all the same color. And so it was a plate of beige and then I think it mm-hmm. became a plate of yellow. Plate of yellow is very funny. And I say it all the time. Murphy. Fuck, am I attracted to autistic women? Yeah, you I'm might learning be. I'm stuff. I, I might be. You might like the quirk of An some autistic things. Woman. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not the uh, not the downfalls of um, having a mental disorder as <coughs> you find every day being my friend. Yeah, but I've never dated someone as mentally ill as you. You know what I mean? <laughs> what well, makes me more mentally ill than the rest? Well, we c- I can't talk about us. <laughs> On the on the podcast, it's called mentally illegal. <laughs> yeah, but I don't know. Like, um, like uh, I'll bleep this out. But I'm a <laughs> <laughs> like, That's my favorite saying. Like, no one's ever screamed I've that. Got a no one's. I've never. You're also incredibly codependent. Oh, so much. Not so. just on your boyfriend, but on everyone around you. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't gonna say me, but she's pointing hard at me. You know, it's just every time I crack the shits because I'm like, why can't I just sit here? Why do I have to sit over there? Why can't I come and sit here? And he goes, because I'm working. Why you know, don't you try that yourself? You know what? We tried it last night because you were really, you seemed really down. You're like, can I come hang out? I was like, shock. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I am working, but you can come sit here. And you just sat here in silence on your phone while I sat there working. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is, I don't like this. <laughs> this is, Get out. It's just, it's more like I'm like, like, it's like there's just another presence in my space. Mm-hmm. And, um, <laughs> I gotta cut that out. Smooth transition. <laughs> Tell me the next thing. Suck me off at the next station. <laughs> Speaking of sucking, uh, there was a video once of this lady on a uh, train, and she's drug fucked or <laughs> drunk or something like that. And I just remember her like, and she's in a verbal altercation with someone, and she goes, "Oh, f- suck me off at the next station," <laughs> and that just always made me laugh. I think that's a very funny thing for a insane person to scream. It is. And suck me off. Plus, I love when women say, suck my balls, lick yeah. my balls, fuck. Like, like suck I've been my saying, ass. can I chop my own cock off? Yeah, like, like it's yes. always funny to me. Yep. I love it when a female presenting person or like a, like a, like a, 
a person who identifies as a woman, or in this case, every time I've seen it, just a cis woman, mm-hmm. will say like, yeah, I'm a real Pepsi kind of guy. That always <laughs> makes me laugh. Yeah. Whenever they say I'm a something kind of guy, mm-hmm. instant chuckle from me. That's yeah. endlessly funny. Yeah, it is. I like it when women refer to themselves as dudes it's and dudes, guys and yeah. stuff. Don't like it. And this is not a good trade in me and I should be more secure about my own masculinity. Mm-hmm. Don't like it when women call me dude or bro or anything like that. Don't know what it is. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's a masculinity thing, but I can't be sure. It's because they're like they're towing up with you kind of thing. I don't know what it is. Both I don't, even, I don't even like when guys call me bro. Look at them. But um, I've been more known to say, don't do that to like my girlfriends. Can you say that to these two right now? Oh, hey, bro. I don't care. Lulu. <laughs> um, this is still going. I can't believe yeah. I have so many. Uh, and that's all she wrote. And that's all she wrote. Um, you say that when we're leaving the shops. I don't know. That's just a common saying. It's just an Australian saying. So yeah, that's all she wrote. Like that's... And the next one is Chabella, is how you end most of your streams. I didn't even realise I do that. It's just a nice, nice way to say bye, beautiful. Yep. And uh, the last one I added today was uh, slang for window, which is windy. Every just video you say, can I climb through the windy? I'll go through the windy. Just some fucking windy sh- open? shit I started saying. Yeah. It's just windy. a G-matism. It's, I think it's because I think it might have came from like the like the Welsh accent. Mm-hmm. Like, you, 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 or like a Scottish maybe, like something like... I've got to clean the windy. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's my like boy. windy. Like instead of saying window, yeah. you go windy. Windy. Like the uh, yeah. Do yeah. you think that you have sayings that I forgot? You're like, this is my go-to, and I've I've left it out. Um, I don't think so. I do often like. That's ludicrous. I got to shut one of these windows. You look silly. <laughs> I look a damn fool. Uh, I think I have been known to, uh, when I answer the phone, I'll say City Abortion Clinic, no fetus can Yeah, that's us. quite good. I, I, almost uh, I can't believe I didn't put that one on there. I do that quite a bit. Um, it used to be planned, por- planned Parenthood, no fetus can beat us, but that just felt too real. You were, I think maybe it was a Metal Gear Solid game. Which is the window that's hit? It's this one. Uh, keep going. It was the Metal Gear Solid game where there was a phone ringing in the corner of the room. If a phone rings in any video game, guarantee that's City what I'll say. Clinic, no fetus can beat us. Every single time. Sorry, man. <sighs> so funny. Um, I can't think of any more. No, me neither. There but are thousands. Thousands and thousands. thousands. And please add them in the comments section. We'd love to hear them. Yeah. Is there any ones of me that you can think of? Because I can't. Yeah, it's hard off the dome. No, but there'll be hundreds. It's mostly just you. Yeah, you say like, thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. You say that a lot Yeah. to everybody, not just Geordie. <laughs> That's true, <laughs> You know, yeah. you say, thank you, daddy. Thank you, daddy. Um, Which is, you know, uh, is... is Geordie com- and I have a few sayings like in between us. Yeah, I think like, every couple has like some... We don't say... We say, I love you. Yes, yeah. for I love you. That I makes love me you. want to vomit my mouth. Yeah. We do have like a lot of the baby. You do. Oh. You guys do a lot of baby. You guys call each other bub and that. Bubby. Makes me, Bubby makes me, oh, even you just saying it then makes yeah. me want to spew inside my own <laughs> shirt. <laughs> spew. We do. Um, Can I normalize chopping my own cock mm-hmm. off? We do a, like a, we do like a shocked voice. Like when one of us is in the wrong, like a similar to like, we'll be right back. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, you won't, you won't sit with me. And one of us would go, I can't, I can't even believe, I, I, I wasn't even there. Where are you talking Yeah. It's like, like that. That's and it makes one. me like, laugh. I like that bit. Every time. Like, like, what is this wizardry? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, what? Is this witchcraft? Yeah, I t- but, th- okay. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> just milking it. Nice. Like, and it's not even remotely funny but I laugh every time he does it to me or he, he like if he says I was even there immediate laugh <laughs> I mean like you like you left your, your cup over there I was even there that's a good bit to like get out of something yeah that's the the yeah. we'll rubber like, um, over there, yeah know? exactly I do that a lot someone's co- who's that called my mum's come back I go yeah. If I do something stupid or, or silly or like a trip over something, I'll... Yeah. And like point, I'm like, what 
always. And Geordie I don't know does what, that when he farts. He go, <laughs> you'll look around the room going, who was that? And I, I'll, I don't know what I'm pointing at, but I'm going like, in my brain, it's like I'm in the theatre going like, where's the, which, yeah, light, which, yeah. which light is? And I'll just be outside pointing up at the sky. Going, <laughs> I don't even, just anything. It doesn't mean. It's, it's the thing I do when I'm like, when we're bumping out of a theatre and I don't want to do anything. You're trying to look busy. So you look busy and someone walks by you and you, you have an angry look on your face and they Sorry, go. Sorry, I'm just looking for the hex screws. Anyone want to see the, they I think say, the hex it, screws are out in the loading dock. Come and ask me to do something and I'll, I'll do what I do. Matt, um, mm. we're, we're lowering the flies huh? down. Sorry, say again. We're lowering the flies down. Can you come hold I'm some so flies? So, I, I, I'm sorry. I'm so uh, quick to say I was just yelled at you for no reason. Could you, sorry, please just explain that to me one more time? Um, we're, we're bringing the flies down. Uh-huh. Um, we just need some hands. Can we, you, hands? Uh, yes, I'll uh, just, uh, can I just two minutes? Yeah, yeah. And I'll go and never come back. Yeah. Uh, I've seen and it. And they ha- can't wait two minutes, so they'll gre- get someone. Yeah, I've seen you do that. Yeah, I have, I've seen I have, I have you as the stage manager hands. going, Oi! Hands. Hands. You talking to me? Yeah. I just take this. And I walk. You got something? You busy? Yeah. <laughs> or if I am the stage manager and I know you don't want to help me, I'll, I'll be. Can you go and get the um? The and then I'll go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's you. No, and I'm sending you off because I oh, know you yes, don't want to yes, help me. Yes. Can you get that Good thing girl. that's at my house? Yeah, yeah. Can you go and? Do you, do you want to real quick just pop down to the after party and drink? Yeah. yeah. I'll be like, oh. uh, Matt. Um, I I know that um we're not hosting the after party, but can you go and get that? Yeah. Because well, I'm busy right now doing. Just busy right now getting these flies ready. So can you go and get this thing? Matt's just going to get um the hex screws for the. Yeah, just going to get the hex screws. He's going to get the hex blues. The hex blues for the for the for the highs. I'll be back tomorrow. <coughs> <laughs> I'll be back. Never. I'll be back in my bath. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was my. I really liked hosting the um. After parties. The after party for noises off. Because you get to leave early. Because yeah. I was like, oh, sorry, me and Connie yeah, that, got to go. Yeah, that house. <laughs> and Connie's got to come help me clean up. So I was sitting, um, like, couldn't, I can't do much at a bump out. Mm-hmm. I'm not a heavy weights lifter. I can't work a drill. I just know what needs to be done. I'm good at delegating and mm-hmm. sitting down and going, all of these things need to be done. I can't do one of them, but I can tell you to go and do that thing. Mm-hmm. And I was sitting there with Alana and I was like, I need to go and clean my house. I need to go and clean my house, but I can't leave because I'm the stage manager and I need to go clean my house. I was tr- trying to be like, I need to go. Because I just couldn't help them. And not that I wanted to help them, but I couldn't help them. So I was like, I'd be better off getting ready for this poor after party that Matt's cleaning the house all by himself and Geordie's trying to. And they're like, just go, just come on. Walking away. I couldn't. I, I, I should stay. Possibly, I go. I couldn't possibly. I'm getting live. so lightheaded. I'll see you later. I gotta <laughs> bye. Bye. <laughs> like packing my bag like I know I gotta stay and like, put in my drink bottle I just I can't leave see you bye bye but yeah that's it's a real mellow podcast today everybody yeah well this feels like we've just finished G-Stream it's also Friday it's like Friday afternoon it's Friday it's afternoon 5 we've done a, I've done a full day of work I gotta go to rehearsals tonight can you what believe time? that 9pm it starts at 9pm Technically, yeah, technically it starts at 9pm. I'm there at 8 with the girl playing Fiona to work out our intimate stuff without people around. What do you have to do with Fiona? No, we might have to kiss. I don't think so, but there's a, like an intimate kind of song that we got to oh, do. Oh, okay. And they were like, just just, just sing with each other and have Whatever. fun. And we were like, I'm not ad-libbing intimate stuff no. with a woman on stage. Oh, you told me this, yes. I want her to feel safe. Let's yeah. work it out. Oh, I had another not smooth, not smooth transition. Um you were saying to me the other day that um, you're starting to feel like your hypochondria is flaring up a bit. Mm. And then I was like, I was in a spot like you are where I just had to start thinking, what's the worst possible thing that could happen? So <clears throat> I was going to tell you the story about fainting at Chadston. I don't need to try. It just happens. I don't go, what's the worst thing happened? I just go, boom. I that's know. that's the worst thing that could happen. So Matt and I were waiting for a boost juice the other day. We went late night shopping, and Matt was like, "I'm going to go collect my food from Nando's, which was my food, <laughs> my food, uh, which was out of sight of the boost juice." Yeah. And me being, can you? No, you're not going after her. You're not running the fence line. There's no one there. No one's robbing our house. You can stay here, and be on the podcast like a good boy. 
keep going. Matt was like, I'm going to go get my food. He walks away. The, the the moment I can't see Matt anymore, my whole body just went. See, that's fucked. And I immediately started to feel faint. And I was like, what do I do? Do I, I, I have to wait here by myself? What happens if I Now, why, if why I is faint? this happening? Where does this come from? Just from me having panic disorder. Yeah, but why is alone? What is it about being alone that's... Because if, if this is the, the if, this is the mental illness, yep. if I start feeling sick, you are no longer here to help me and I'm on my own. Yeah. And you're out of sight, so I can't wave at you going, I suddenly feel sick and need to lie down. Gotcha. You're, you're away from me. And then, then what I did start to do was start walking away from Boost Juice to go and stand with you and I'll just abandon the smoothie that I've just paid for. Yeah. And I'll just go stand with you. And I was like, no. Okay, so I started walking off and I was like, no, you can do this. You can do this. So then I slumped myself next to the wall and I was like, okay, just grab you. And this is this comes back to the whole reason why I always have my backpack with me because I've got my water bottle and, you know, drugs and things like that to calm me down. So... I start getting stuff out of my backpack and then I start messaging you. I'm like instantly started to have a panic attack as soon as you walked away. That's hilarious. And I was telling you the other day about the worst thing that happened did happen to me at Chadston. So when I got sick after Jersey Boys and I started getting like chronic vertigo every single day that I couldn't drive for like three months, the week after me being like, bedridden sick i was like you know what i'm I'm feeling all right i'm gonna go Uh, chloe said we're going shopping all the fam to chasden you want to come and i was like we'll be right back we'll be right back um i was like yeah i I think i feel well enough you know not i hadn't been eating food i had been sleeping like I i haven't been driving i haven't been doing anything and i was like that's a good idea distract yourself go shopping whatever so I take an apple with me. Chloe lives around the corner, so I walk down to Chloe's house. No worries. No bueno. I get there and I'm like, immediately start feeling gross. <laughs> <laughs> I walk in the door. I'm like, ah, fun. Ed, thank you. I'm like, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. She was not. Your mistakes were made. She was not fine. So I get in the car and I'm like, you know what? Let's just stop off at the chemist on the way there. I'll get myself some jelly beans. Because my therapist told me that jelly beans fix everything. It's true. They have a bit of sugar in them. That make you feel a bit better. Yeah. So, and I'm like, I'll sit in the front seat so I don't get travel sickness. Because yep. everywhere that I go, my eyes can't. It's like when you're watching a movie, but the movie's not playing properly, it's buffering. Yeah. And it's getting, you get like a frame by frame. That's what my eyes were doing. <laughs> um, go to the chemist get the jelly beans i'm like oh i'm sweet mind you i haven't like stood up or walked anywhere for like a week i've been laying down sick pathetic yeah and not eating food because i've been sick so ate the apple had some jelly beans we get to chadston and i'm like i'm feeling a little clammy but i'm like i'm fine i'm fine i'm probably just hungry get into the shopping center i'm like i just had i just gotta go just gotta go to the toilet so i'm having now panic diarrhea right (laughs) i'm familiar yeah um so we walk down this like liminal space corridor and the tiles start not being tiles anymore and they start like my eyes start dragging them up the wall and i'm kind of like i'm trying not to make it obvious but i'm like holding onto the wall i'm walking into the cubicle and i can only relate this to when you're like you've had one too many drinks and you have that moment of sobriety sitting on the toilet going i'm in big trouble i don't know what you're talking about no 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 i because i no it doesn't happen to me okay i only drink as much as i can <laughs> and then i stop and i go you know that's too much for me yeah so you're drunk down this hallway yeah so i've i'm sat i've sat on the on the cubicle um and i've got my head in my hands going the i feel like i'm on a roller coaster and all of the noise in the toilet like is just overstimulating me like no but there's, it's like a busy shopping center you can hear out into the hall i'm like what am i supposed to fucking like i feel weak at the knees yeah. and i'm like i can't throw up because there's so many people in this bathroom just let it fly and no i wasn't gonna 
So I go out there, I sit on the toilet, nothing comes out because my body's just starting to shut down. And I walk out and I'm waiting for him. I start taking like my jacket off. I'm like, maybe I'm just too hot. I'm like, okay, plan B. So we go to, uh, we just walk out into the food court area. I'm like, okay, I'm just going to grab a cheesy my scroll from Baker's Delight. Get some, like just shovel food into me as fast as I can to try and counteract this nausea. This little piggy went to market. Smooth transition. And I'm obviously having a giant panic attack. Yeah. And Chloe's mum's with us and Chloe's two sisters are with us. And um, her mum, Kim's looking at me and she's like, how are you, Sia? And I'm like, well, Kim, I hate to say it, but there is four of you talking to me right now. And I don't know which one's the real you. Am I looking at the real you? No. Is it this one? Yep. Cool. Um... Do you guys just want to do your shopping? I'll just die on this table. And Kim's like, oh, we'll get you a wheelchair. And I was like, no. No, don't do this to me. Oh, my God. They got you a wheelchair. They had to go and ask security. Oh, uh, my God. So, mind no. you. Mind you, when I said this is the worst thing that could possibly happen, I couldn't walk to the car. I just wanted them to leave me there long enough so, like, I could think about what I've done uh. and, like, will myself to walk to the car. So Emma and Gabby had gone to get what they needed to get from Chadston. And it took them – Kim had to stop what she was doing. She had to go find security. Chloe's stuck there because my whole weight is on Chloe. Yeah. And we've got people sitting right next to us watching this debacle happen. Like, Kim was picking up my legs and stuff. She was trying to, like – get some motion into me. I was trying to have jelly beans. They got me a water. I was just a complete burden on this poor family. And then Kim comes back and she's wheeling an empty wheelchair over towards me. And then everyone in the Chadston shopping center turned to look (laughs) at me, sitting there with my sunglasses on, leaning on my friend with a half eaten Baker's Delight bag on my chest like this what a hero and they put me in the wheelchair yeah. so we can't we can't go back the way we came Matthew because that's like through the toilets and we can't get the chair through the toilets so we've got to take the long way around through the car through the open car park across the road and I'm sitting there like a goddamn celebrity with my sunglasses on when I tell you for free I've never been more embarrassed in my entire life I'm telling the truth. I couldn't even look up because yeah. I, I couldn't fathom people looking at me being an able-bodied person, walk in here, take someone who desperately needed a wheelchair off them. I don't think you took a wheelchair off someone, but keep going. I took the Westfield chair. <laughs> I'm sure they have more than one chair. I felt guilty about even being in that chair. I knew that people saw me walk in and then get wheeled out like I was a lazy piece of shit. Yeah. And Chloe's like, no. give him the royal wave. Like, Chloe's the one wheeling me. And she's like, she's like, come on, Sienna, say hello to everyone. I'm like, fucking just get me to the car. Smooth transition. I text Chloe later. I was like, did we go to Chadston today? Did we do that? Or was I dreaming? No, you got wheelchaired out of Chadston Shopping Centre. Yeah. I was like. Good. Cool. Cool. Um, do you have any, any like, spare cyanide for me to, to end my life? No. Okay. Well, toaster bath it is then. I'm sorry that that happened and you had to drive me home. Boy, was that a long story. <laughs> yeah. You know, at, Even the, really, can at, you the see start, it, at the start of the story, I said, no matter what happens, I'm going to say, boy, was that a long story. Oh, yeah, that's right. I was just so lucky. It was the longest <laughs> of all <laughs> fucking time. And it was a boring one too. No, it wasn't boring. It, it was, was just boring. me being uh-uh. sick and my body not being able to handle it and yeah. me getting wheeled out of Chadston. Yeah. And people were like, that's not that bad. You were sick. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't look sick. I didn't look malnourished. I didn't look bad. It was my <laughs> brain. You looked malnourished. I was dressed up good. I had my hair done. He's like, no one's looking at you going, this fucking bitch. They're looking and going, oh, something's wrong with her. You don't see someone getting wheeled out in a wheelchair and go, faker. 
You go. That's where my brain went, though. I'm like, yeah, that's where everyone's brain would go. Yeah. But it's because you were in a wheelchair being wheeled out and your legs aren't working and you're being pushed through. Like, of course, you're going to go. Everyone's looking at me, right? Everyone's looking at me. People are like, people are looking because they're like, what the fuck happened to that bitch? Mm-hmm. They do that. Yeah. 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 When, when I went to a concert once and uh, went to see Ice House at the zoo. Ice House were performing at the zoo. Mm. And some lady in line uh, fainted and an ambulance had to come. And everyone that was, the line moved and she didn't, you know, because she fainted. The line kept moving. She <gasps> stayed there, ambulance and stuff. But the line had to go. So we would all go past her and every single person would turn their bodies and just stare at her. It, like, it was like people facing forward, people facing forward, people facing forward, people facing inwards, people facing inwards, people facing forward, people for like, and, and as you moved up, your body turned towards her. And then your body turned away from her. And then the people come from here and they're like this and they go look at her and they go there. Oh, kiss my ticket, going to Ice House. That's, we'll be right back. That was the whole night. And it was so fucking funny. I'll be 100% honest with you. Watching people just have, you know, sipping out of water, eating something, just staring at this woman who's two meters that direction. Mm. Man, fuck. Fuck. She doesn't look good. Get, lift her head up. <laughs> she breathing? She breathing? And there's ambulance people like actually doing stuff. Yeah. yeah, that's wild. Even like knowing that I could stand up and then get slumped in the wheelchair, I'm like, that's an insult to somebody. I've offended somebody just now by standing with the look, look the gall on that lady to right. stand up and then sit down in a wheelchair. Just say, I just had a baby. I just had a baby. And I couldn't go, even string oh, so two sorry. words together. I, re- I resonate a lot with that. Like, like what's the worst thing that happened right now? Mm-hmm. Because that's like that's it hasn't happened in a long time, but um, uh, I had to do a big car drive with M recently, mm-hmm. and within the first twenty minutes, if that, I had the poo thing, which hasn't happened since I was like, probably hasn't happened since I was like twenty two or twenty three. But I remember trying to explain it to Ben Owen Bruce one time, mm-hmm. and bursting into tears as I told them, I'm like, here's this thing: when I go for a long car trip, or when I go. You know, I, 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 I can have panic attacks because I'm worried I won't be able to use the bathroom and I'll shit myself. <laughs> and the fear that I'm going to shit myself in the car and then be stuck in the car with my friends making them smell my shit. Yep. Terrifying to yeah. me. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and In someone else's car as well. So yeah. double the trauma. And so after I explained it to them, it made me feel a lot better and I've never really suffered from it again because I, uh, yeah, I've just been able to sort of deal with it. But that was the first time I've been in a long time. And luckily, I said to her, I was like, here's the thing. And I just talked like I mm-hmm. did with Ben Owen and Bruce. And she was so cool about it yep. and good about it. Yep. And so it stopped. But like the idea of being in a situation and going, a confined space for- what's going to happen? Like you being what, uh, yep. the, the, with me, being like, if I faint, what's going to happen? Because he's gone now. And that's when you start to panic. Yeah. Because it was, it was the, as soon I my eyes followed you, followed you, followed you, followed you, followed you. Couldn't see you. Yeah. I'm going to faint. The person that we were vibing with at the Boost Juice Bar is now going to see I'm I'm quite lame and I'm not going to cheer when my drink is ready like he asked me to. Yeah. And she's going to be lying on the floor in front of a food court full of people and Matt's not even going to know about it until you Nando's. come looking for me. Yeah. Like what? But if I saw, if I came, because I went off to get Nando's, yeah. not 100 metres away. Not uh, even. Yeah, and I would have. I would if I came back and saw a crowd of people gathered around someone. You would know it was me. Sienna, instantly Sienna. I'd, really? I, I wouldn't even look through. I'd be like, "Excuse me, guys, it's my friend," and I'd come through and I'd be like some old lady dead on the floor, and I'd go back, be like, "Not my friend." Not my friend. <laughs> and you'd be standing at the side, going, "I'm worried that I'm going to faint," <laughs> and some old lady's dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yep. I, I resonate. My, my, my. Yeah, the hypochondria I noticed has been flaring up, but the other day I like. Uh, this is when I messaged you and said it um, was I was going through the shopping center and I smelled burnt toast. Yeah, you're like obviously from one of the three hundred cafes. S T R O K E. What does that spell? Stroke. So I smelled burnt toast. Did I spell stroke correctly? S T R O K E. Hope I said that. <laughs> I'm a really bad speller. <laughs> uh, I uh, yeah, and I started to. <sighs> and I I got lightheaded. Oh fuck! Because that is the it is like the. You are the only other person that like immediate response to stress is to start losing blood in your brain. Yeah, and that makes you that 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 uh, fucks your whole body up. And it makes you think that what's happening is actually happening. Because yes. if, if I go, I smell burnt toast. I'm having a stroke, and I start to get dizzy. I go, you're oh, like, I'm, oh, cool. The stroke's happening now, and it just snowballs. 
but I knew that I went, all right. And I, and I needed to like go and sit down because I was like, I'm getting lightheaded. And I was like, all right, let's think about this logically. There are 487 cafes around you. Mm -hmm. One of them probably burnt toast. So you're a lot smarter than me. Well, I've gotten good at it because I went to therapy and you refused to. I went to therapy and learnt the skills and the sets and also... I went to therapy to learn how to drive again. Yeah. After I fainted in the Burnley Tunnel. Did it work? Yeah, I can drive through the tunnel. Yeah. Not so without go sweating. Go to therapy more. Yeah. I went to therapy well, just to learn. told me I need to go, not in a malice way, just like for my own yeah. well-being. Because I, helps. if any any minor convenience, which is like... Oh, sorry. I mean to tickle your foot. It's all right. Any minor convenience may make me faint. Yeah. Like I got... A hairdressing appointment cancelled on me because they booked in the wrong Sienna. Mm. And I slumped over on the lady's desk. Yeah, but you said this on the podcast and you said there were like there were other reasons. You went, oh, they're going to think I was lying. They're going to think I was blah, blah, blah. Like it, it's not – hair appointment's gone. You're not that crazy. But mm. you're crazy enough to go through the mental process of going, what's everybody going to think about this? My boss is going to hate me. Because, yep. And then you're going to pass out. Yep. yep. Naturally. Yep. If that makes it, sense. It is annoying. But you need to retrain your brain chemistry. You need yes. to retrain your the pathways, the neural pathways that your brain takes. Yeah. And that's when you get off this roundabout. Yeah, because sometimes embarrassment can't. Sometimes I can be like, it's going to be more embarrassing if you throw up or faint right now than just dealing with it and mm -hmm. just waiting for your boost juice, which is, you know, what I said when I finally leaned against the thing. But when I found you at Nando's, I was like, can't just, I'm just going to sit here for a second. <laughs> I just sat down. I was like... Oh boy. <laughs> you and I are on a roundabout. Yeah. And we're going like this. And we're going, I smell burnt toast. I'm having a stroke. I can't breathe. I'm going to faint. Um, my heart's beating faster. Mm -hmm. I'm going to die. And you stay on this roundabout. I've gotten, I've learned how to get off the roundabout, mm -hmm. which is what you need to do. And that's yeah. the neural pathways. Like, what like, an educating podcast this has been. I had to train the neural pathways to not take the regular path and just mm -hmm. skew the path off. Get off the roundabout. So now when I go, I smell burnt toast. I'm having a stroke. I'm, I'm lightheaded. I'm having a stroke. Wait a second. What are the other reasons it could be? And yeah. Then I fuck and then you, else. Yeah. Why am I dizzy? Because I'm getting myself worked up. Because mm -hmm. I'm blah, blah, blah. I've been getting good. Why, so am I light, why am I struggling to breathe? Why am I? Why is my breath shallow? Is it actually shallow? Let's just take a second. Can I get a full breath in? I don't have lightness of, like, I don't have shortness yeah, of breath. Shortness of breath. Shortness yeah. of breath, you cannot get that full breath in. It's mm -hmm. like, you, yeah. And and then, and then now, uh, burnt toast is a bad example, but now there are things that happen that would send me on the roundabout that don't anymore. I get heart palpitations, a big one. I get a heart palpitation, doesn't even bother me. That sent me to the, my heart palpitation. When I've I started getting the them, tests, it sent me to the hospital. I've done the tests. I've done everything. I've, I've you know, I know what causes it. Mm -hmm. I get a heart palpitation, I go, oh, back to what I was doing. Burnt toast is, a, is, you know, burnt toast, blow out a candle. Yeah. Yeah, you Stuff said that, that in my house. Who blew out a candle? Who blew out the candle? Just did someone blow out a candle? Everybody here. Great. Candle. Yeah. Did you blow out the candle? Cool. Anybody, like, if you were listening to Sienna tell that story about faint, like, get bitten in the wheelchair, and you weren't watching the podcast visually, you would not have seen, but I was going through a real crisis of just, like, I just could not get comfy. <laughs> And I'm, I'm, right now I'm suffering. Like I feel like my skin isn't. Isn't yours. You've got imposter syndrome. Like I went, I like while Sienna was, you wouldn't know it because you weren't, because I, I, you're like, geez, Matt didn't talk much of that story. It's because I got a mic stand. I, I sat down. I put my feet up across my legs, put my feet up in Sienna's chair. I moved my chair facing you. I'm now facing fully sideways to the camera, which is not ideal. Well. I'm so uncomfortable. I have been trying to like get off the roundabout a little bit yeah. with my heart palpitations yeah. or like when I get like the immediate wave of feeling sick because I've, I'm hungry. Cause usually when I'm like, Oh my God, I feel sick and I'm going to throw up and I'm going to faint and I'm going to do this. It's like, have you eaten any food? No. Then that pang in your stomach is a hunger pain and not a, uh, you having a medical emergency mm. because you haven't fed yourself, which is like, a really common thing that I go through. Yeah. I'm going through it right now because I've had is the mocha that you bought me today. Is that where the low energy is going? Yeah. 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 I've had a mocha that you gave me today and some cheese and bacon balls and that is all. Well, let's, we got to do a post show and I got to head off to rehearsals in like 40 minutes, everybody. So we're going to wrap this episode up um, and move over to the page. Uh, if you want to join us, patreon.com forward slash GMAT podcast. And I'm going to do... 
that. To get some more. Uh, oh, that's so much better. To get some more episodes up in you. This was a low energy one. We'll bring the fire back next week. Um, do we have any funny moments? I've got notes, but we'll we'll, we'll do it. We'll, next week we'll save some stuff and we'll we'll talk about some shit. Um, this was just more of it. This is hey, this we you know what this was. This is a jazz cast. <gasps> this was this is jazz. I fainted and I'm mentally ill. <laughs> the twin towers well done. Oh no. Hey, it's GMAT here from The Real GMAT. And don't forget, if you enjoyed that episode of Mentally Illegal and you want to hear more, we also have the podcast post show available exclusively to our Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash GMAT podcasts. The podcast post show is a shorter episode recorded directly after the main podcast where we just keep on chatting. Again, patreon.com forward slash GMAT podcasts. Don't forget to thumbs up, rate and like this podcast on your podcast app of choice and share it with all of your friends.